So how do you remember things? Well, for me, I mostly don't remember them at all. And if you think I'm joking, just ask my wife. Do I have a good memory? <laughs> no. Thank <laughs> you for your honest reaction. So what's the point? Well, I'm of course giving myself credibility for the topic of this video, which is of course how I rectify this memory problem. And I do so in the way any good engineer would, with an open source note-taking solution. A solution that is free, easy to maintain, and future-proof. And by the way, that third bullet point is absolutely the most important part. And the note-taking solution that I'm gonna talk about rectifies that problem in a beautifully simple way. But before we get into that, let's get into installing it on this leftover Raspberry Pi I have right here as I talk through sort of the high level of what the solution actually is. Now, what we're talking about here is a personal wiki, a complete knowledge repository that is editable from any browser, uses standard files as a data store, has GitHub for automated backups, and is formatted in Markdown. Now enter Gollum. Gollum is an open source wiki program that provides all of this functionality. Speaking of Gollum, it is conveniently done installing on this Raspberry Pi I have here, but of course you could also install it on any Unix-based system like macOS. But for that matter, it's not even completely necessary to have Gollum running to take notes, but we'll get to that. Like I mentioned, Gollum uses standard markdown files as its data store, so all that's required to get it going is an initialized Git repository. So we're just gonna make a folder here, initialize it, and then we're gonna run Gollum. When you run Gollum, it creates a web server that serves on port 4567 of whatever device Gollum is running on. In this case, I put in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. And as you can see that you have this simple interface. You can edit a page, you can type some markdown, save it, and boom, you've got a page. You can link between pages, and you've got this rich text formatting with code blocks. Everything you're used to with markdown is here. And to give you an idea, this is what my personal wiki looks like after a couple months of use. And this brings me back to my third bullet point, which is future-proof, because I end up with neat, organized files written in standard markdown. The survival of my notes doesn't depend on any cloud service or note-taking app, or even the survival of Gollum itself. If Gollum were to go away, I'd lose a convenient interface to edit my notes, but the notes themselves remain organized, readable, and transferable to any number of programs that can edit and display Markdown. In fact, GitHub can do that right now, along with a plethora of other programs because Markdown is so standardized across the tech industry. And by the way, I'm mentioning Markdown quite a lot in this video, but Gollum does support quite a few other markups if they're more your speed. Okay, well, what if the Raspberry Pi crashes? Well, Gollum uses a Git repository and it converts those edit actions into Git commits. So all you need to do to back up your wiki is to just push it to your remote Git repository and then all your notes are now backed up. Now, if you want that backup to happen seamlessly, and like I mentioned, the, the premise of this video is that I have a really terrible memory, so I'm never gonna remember to do that. But what I did do is write a little bash script that just pushes all those loose commits up to my GitHub repository, and then I just run that bash script every 15 minutes using cron. And if you want instructions on how to do that, it's in my blog and it's really easy. Now I run this script and I run Gollum on Raspberry Pi because I want this wiki interface to be available from anywhere on my network. I can even edit wikis on my phone. All right, here's the bottom line. Take ownership of your data. Use tools that have stood and will stand the test of time like Git and Markdown and do it all for free with this personal wiki. Now detailed installation, configuration, and debugging instructions are all linked in the blog post below. And as for Gollum, just like this video, it really is that simple. Peace.